This here is a Australian native hibiscus called Baramba Creek. It's a gorgeous plant and it's sick. It's been in the pot for a while. I've topped up the potting mix with a compost but really it needs to get into the ground. It had a fall about a year ago and the top snapped off and there's all these side shoots but um, if we have a look at the leaves you can see there's uh, aphids and mealybugs and all sorts of little creatures coming in to help this plant die essentially. What we can also see if we take our time is lady beetles. Lady beetles. Lady beetle larvae, as in that's a baby lady beetle. And there's more of them. So the last thing you would want to do with this plant is to spray it with a poison because you'll kill all those lady beetle larvae and the lady beetles. And that's what's feeding them. These guys are feeding off the mealybugs and the aphids on this plant. We all need to eat. There's heaps of babies on it. Huh. See, the more we look, the more we find. <laughs> Love it. They're everywhere. All the babies eating the mealybugs, eating the aphids. What I need to do with this plant is really get it in the ground. I think it's sick and tired of being in the pot and you know what? Fair enough. But what I want to show you is that sometimes if we just wait and let nature take its course, we don't have to stress about our plants. Check it out. About five weeks ago, I took the video footage of this plant that was uh, fairly heavily covered in mealybugs and um, predator insects, uh, the lady beetles and the lady beetle larvae, and I just want to show what's happened. Now I haven't treated this plant or the soil with anything. I just let the predator insects do their thing, and what I've noticed is the predator insects seem to have cleaned the plant up of all the sap-sucking mealybugs. If I had sprayed this plant, I would have ruined the food source for all those predator insects. I didn't spray. And all the sap suckers are gone anyway. Isn't that interesting? That doesn't mean that this plant is now healthy and happy because it's still in a pot and it's still got some gnarly bits going on so it's it's not getting the nutrients it needs. It needs to be potted up or it needs to go in the ground. But I just want to show you how effective it can be just to wait for the predators to take care of the problems. I cannot see a single mealybug. Isn't nature wonderful? Sometimes we don't have to do a single thing and just let nature take its course.